Hello, today we will learn how to get rid of belly fat without too much talk. Let's begin. Try curbing carbs instead of fats. Researchers compared the effects on the heart of losing weight through a low carbohydrate diet versus a low fat diet for six months each containing the same amount of calories, those on a low-carb diet lost an average of 10 pounds more than those on a low-fat diet, 28.9 pounds versus 18.7 pounds. An extra benefit of the low-carb diet is that it produced a higher quality of weight loss. With weight loss, fat is reduced, but there is also often a loss of lean tissue muscle, which is not desirable on both diets. There was a loss of about two to three pounds of good lean tissue along with the fat, which means that the fat loss percentage was much higher on the low-carb diet. Think eating plan, not diet. Ultimately, you need to pick a healthy eating plan you can stick to. The benefit of a low-carb approach is that it simply involves learning better food choices. No calorie counting is necessary. In general, a low-carb way of eating shifts your intake away from problem foods, those high in carbs and sugar and without much fiber, like bread, bagels and sodas, and toward high-fiber or high-protein choices, like vegetables, beans and healthy meats. Ultimately, you need to pick a healthy eating plan you can stick to. Physical activity helps burn abdominal fat. One of the biggest benefits of exercise is that you get a lot of bang for your buck on body composition. Exercise seems to work off belly fat in particular because it reduces circulating levels of insulin which would otherwise signal the body to hang on to fat and causes the liver to use up fatty acids, especially those nearby visceral fat deposits. The amount of exercise you need for weight loss depends on your goals. For most people, this can mean 30 to 60 minutes of moderate to vigorous exercise nearly every day. Lift weights. Adding even moderate strength training to aerobic exercise helps build lean muscle mass, which causes you to burn more calories throughout the entire day, both at rest and during exercise. Become a label reader. Compare and contrast brands. Some yogurts, for example, boast that they are low in fat, but they are higher in carbs and added sugars than others. Foods like gravy, mayonnaise, sauces, and salad dressings often contain high amounts of fat and lots of calories. Move away from processed foods. The ingredients in packaged goods and snack foods are often heavy on trans fats, added sugar, and added salt or sodium, three things that make it difficult to lose weight. Focus on the way your clothes fit more than reading a scale. As you add muscle mass and lose fat, the reading on your bathroom scale may not change much, but your pants will be looser. That's a better mark of progress. Measured around. Your waistline should be less than 35 inches if you're a woman or less than 40 inches if you're a man to reduce heart and diabetes risks. I hope. I helped you with this video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.